Yeah, so we, we're just on the east side of campus on Maryland Parkway, and we came uh, all the way to the south side of campus at the Thomas and Mack Center. Now, this is where a number of dozens and dozens of students and faculty are being brought here so that they can get on a bus and taken over to uh, the convention center, where they, then they can leave um, in that fashion. They don't want people just getting picked up here on campus, but take a look behind me here. A number of students uh, here just waiting for the next shuttle to take them uh, to the convention center. I'm still, I just arrived here a couple minutes ago to get in some information, and I've been talking talking to a number of students. I'm going to have our photojournalist sort of work with me here. Uh, here are a number of theater students here who are in theater class. Uh, remind me of your name. Uh, my name is Daniel. 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 So you were in theater class when this all happened. Yeah. What happened when you were in class? So we were in the GRA building. That's like, I'd say four or five buildings over. And we just randomly got an alert of, it just, we got an alert that there was an active shooter, but no one really knew what happened. So we were just kind of all freaking out because there was just a ton of sirens before we even got an alert for about 10, 10 minutes, something like that. It was a while. And after we got the alert, we shut the doors. No one really knew to take it seriously until we got the second alert that said that it was a confirmed shooter and the police are taking action. So then we all just went quiet and we were all staying in the room. Everyone was really panicked. It was extremely scary because we didn't know if there was a second shooter. And once we got the alert that there was shootings in another building in the student union, then we didn't even know if it was going to be safe to try and walk out even when we got evacuated because how many shooters would there have been? So it was just a really scary situation and then a lot of the information was really just confusing. We didn't know if the suspect was dead or contained. We didn't know if there was more than one shooter and we kind of still really don't know anything and you know they took us out here to wait on for a bus to be sent to the convention center to be picked up by our parents and we've been waiting out here for 30 minutes and we have no updates, nothing. We don't know anything. Yeah, so, I mean, did you hear any of the commotion outside of your classroom? We did. So we heard screaming, and we heard, like, most of it was sirens, but we did hear a lot of screaming. Um, and you could hear from the distance really silent gunshots, popping the sounds. Time, the second time, like, for the student union, we heard, we heard the second ones because it was silent in the class. The first time, we were, like, all talking, and we heard the, like, the um, alarm go off in the classroom, and we were all shocked because we didn't know if it was, like, a drill or something. We didn't know. But like the second time for like um, the, in the student union, that's when we like kind of heard it in the distance and we were all like, oh, <laughs> oh. So what's going through your, all of your minds right now? I mean, there's three people dead, not including the suspect who's deceased. This is information that police have confirmed. What's going through your mind when you hear about this? Honestly, right now I'm kind of in, just in shock, so I don't know. But like in the moment, like there was so much going on and so many different things being said that I was kind of like, like panicking but also just kind of like sitting there I, I honestly I didn't I don't, I don't think I said a lot like the entire time I was just like sitting there and I kind of cried a little but like it was like like you never expect it to happen until it actually does and when it does it's kind of like yeah I mean I, even in university when I was there you unfortunately prepared for this sort of thing yeah. um, but did you feel like you were knew what you were doing or did you get information on what to do I feel like in the moment you're just kind of like it's so it's so surreal like honestly you don't you don't know what to expect and then like when it well, since it actually happened, it was kind of like, yeah, we, we were no all... Drills. There was yeah. no warnings. We didn't know any evacuation routes or what to do. All we knew is just what we thought we should do, you know, if there's a shooter. So we had just people hide. We had some people stay by the door. We didn't barricade the rooms just in case we had to escape. But really, it's just, it's all really shocking right now. Um, I'm glad I'm a, like, I'm glad I'm okay. And I'm glad that everyone that was in my class is okay. But I think the biggest thing is three people are dead and I have no idea who that is. It could be someone I know and I'll find out who knows when. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you here in just a moment.